Is this thing on? Okay. <sighs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Dime, and welcome back to Dime Up Cuz. If you're if you've been a fan of this channel for a very long time, you would know that I'm a dot. I'm a very big Nets fan. I, I I love the Nets. I've been with the Nets since 2161. No picks. Kevin Garnett, Brooke Lopez, Paul Pierce, Timothy Mosga. But oh man, I I waited years for this. I waited years for us to be legitimate playoff contenders, a team that will be feared amongst the league and we were we were a team that was feared amongst the league we were taking teams out left and right but unfortunately injuries hit us first it started with KD then with Kyrie then with James and with the supporting cast not being great offensively in big moments this was doomed from the start with the Bucks being a team with a great supporting cast and being great defensively and offensive rebounding is amazing and defensively they're amazing. This this was doomed from the start. Twitter, Instagram, Discord are going in on the Nets. Saying they're smoking the Nets pack. Well, I, I, I welcome you to do that too. Because I knew this would happen. I knew once the Bucks make their defensive adjustments and once the net supporting cast don't show up, it's over. It's over. Now let me talk about the Bucks. Now at the beginning, it was looking like the Nets were gonna take this in seven. You know, I thought I was gonna be proven wrong because I know I said in a prior video that the Bucks would win in six or seven and i thought i was going to be proven wrong and i was kind of happy because i'm a nets fan but i go take a shower at halftime i come back the game is closer so i'm like okay this is becoming a game it wasn't looking good i drew holiday and chris middleton weren't playing very well i think chris middleton finished with like nine for 26 um drew holiday i don't know his exact stats basketball reference hasn't really put up his stats yet but drew holiday he he put up very big shots and once i saw drew holiday putting up big shots i was like oh yeah it's done we're it's up but and Giannis also he played very exceptionally well and his free throws he looked like he improved on his free throw shot um i think he did airball free throw twice i mean that was the only thing i really saw that was messed up of with the bucks the bucks played a very good basketball game and they came back and they were able to do this. I think they were 0-7 and and on road elimination in game seven games. So it was fitting for them to win this one. And I'm not even I'm not even I I'm I'm kinda sad too. I'm very sad. I'm very sad. But anyway, let me talk about the Nets. Kevin Durant, phenomenal. Phenomenal, 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 phenomenal play by Kevin Durant. If his foot was only a little bit Behind the three line, we would have won that game. Oh man. If only, if only, if only, if only, if only, bro. If only. Now, the supporting cast, Bruce Brown played very well defensively, but he was very limited offensively, even though he did put up a good, some good floaters, some good points. What really, it, it really came down to who else is going to show up besides Kevin Durant, right? Who besides Kevin Durant is going to give you buckets? James Harden, you know, he's not at 100%. He did not play well this game. Um, Jeff Green, they barely played him. Blake Griffin played well, but he fouled out. Joe Harris, I don't have to talk about him. And just the rest of the team, it was really heavy Kevin Durant minutes. Kevin Durant played the entire game, which I... I got to give him props bro and you cannot slander kevin durant you cannot slander kevin durant bro i'm just saying you you cannot but <sighs> this this was this was this was sad this was sad very sad 
I waited five years when the team was abysmal. Even when the team was pretty good, 2017, 2018, we were still kind of trash anyway. It this was great. This was a this was a, a learning experience for me, being a fan of a great team, and then us just getting knocked out in this in the second round by Game Seven. You know, you can flame me in the comments. You could be talking about, but I was right. I was right. I knew the Bucks were gonna win. You could check my videos, bro. Check all my videos. You could, you could check it, bro. So I technically, I'm technically. I am technically not even a fan of either side here. I'm neutral. I was neutral um, in the first half, and then that's time. Yeah, but anyway, man, if you enjoyed this video, remember like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride. And be with your boy, Dime. How can you like the video and not like it? God bless. Peace out. 100. Bow. And that's 2022.